Hey, it's Miss Lauren the OT, and today I'm going to show you how to make a paper airplane. Um, and you will just need a piece of paper, and then optional, you can also use a marker or pen, pencil, crayon, something to kind of help with figuring out where to fold the paper to make the airplane. All right, let's get started. All right, so here is my paper. I'm going to start by making a hot dog fold, which if you're not familiar with that, that is folding it long ways. So like a hot dog bun. And that's as opposed to the hamburger fold, which is short end to short end. Looks more like a hamburger bun. So we're gonna do the hot dog long fold, long end to long end. We're gonna find those corners. Move them around till they line up exactly. Pinch it tight. Go to the other end. Move it around till it's exactly where you want it. Pinch in tight. So both ends pinch tight. I'm gonna push down, hold it steady. And then make the crease like a Ziploc. All right, so this is optional. You don't have to use a marker, crayon, pencil, but these, these lines will kind of help you figure out where to make your folds. All right, so you're going to open up your paper again, and you're going to trace along that fold. So right along that center line. All right, so we've got our paper with a long line on it. And then we're gonna flip it over. And just like we we're gonna make a T, so we've got our long line down on the other side, we're gonna do a line across the top on the back though. I'm trying to go all the way up at the top. All right, so I've got my line on the front, my long line on the front, and my line across on the back, the top of the back. All right, so you're gonna flip back over to the front with the long line, and you're gonna take the corner, each corner, doesn't matter which one you start with, but you're gonna take a corner, and you're gonna bring it down to the middle, and you wanna line up that top line with the middle line, and you can put your helping hand finger just next to that middle line. So you're gonna bring down this corner until those lines match up. Hold it tight, do your little ziplock crease. If you're holding it up, you pinch tight with one finger, one hand, and then you squeeze and pull it along like a ziplock for the other hand. All right, so next side, we got one side done. Next corner, we're gonna bring it down to the middle line up our other line. Again, you can pinch it like a Ziploc, or I, if you do it against something, it's usually a little bit easier. But you wanna hold it tight with one hand, push out to the edge with your other, slide your finger along like a Ziploc, and that'll crease it really well. You can do it, you can hold it up to pinch and crease again to make sure it's nice and tight there. All right, so we've got our two top corners down. So now you're gonna take that marker again if you want. And again, you don't have to use the marker if you don't want or pencil or whatever. And you're gonna draw along each of those folds that we just made. So if you are using a marker, it's a little bit easier. And if you are using a crayon, you might wanna do what we did before, flip it over and then trace along those two edges that we just folded. All right, so this is the back. We've got our two lines. Flip it back over to the front, and we're gonna do the same thing. So before our corner was up here, but we folded it, and now our corner is right here. So we're taking this edge, this corner, not edge, sorry. We're taking this corner and bringing it to the middle and we're gonna line up that edge with the center line. 
So again, we want to kind of hold our helping hand up near the top. Bring our line over to line up with that middle. Hold it tight while we push with the other hand. Slide it along like a zip lock. There's one side and we're gonna do the same thing with the other side. So we're bringing that corner, that point to the middle. Lining up our line that we made. So that top edge. Push with one hand, hold it tight with one hand while you slide with the other hand. And you can hold it up and pinch with one hand while you take your other hand and slide your pinchers along the edge to make sure it's creased really well. Okay, so now we're gonna fold the whole thing again like we did the first time with the hot dog fold along that long middle line. So we're gonna bring the both sides together. We already have that fold there, so it shouldn't be, hopefully it's not too hard to get it again. All right, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a little line. You don't have to draw if you don't want to, but we're gonna, what we're doing is we're gonna try to line this little tiny edge that's still vertical, or I guess this, this way it would be horizontal, but we're gonna try to match this straight edge. I'll draw on the back of this one too. And we're gonna bring this little edge all the way down to the very bottom. So I can you know, draw on this part too, so you can see where to match them up. All right, so we're gonna bring the whole edge down and try to match that with the bottom. And we wanna match it to the corner also. And again, you don't have to do it this way if you want, you can, kind of angle it a little bit differently. This is the wing though, so however you wanna do it. I like to kind of match it up with that corner. So I'm gonna hold it with one hand, push with the other, slide it like a ziplock, and then flip it over and do the same thing. So we're taking this little piece here, folding it over to match the corner with the corner, right along that bottom edge. And some people like to make their wings a little bit bigger. If you do, that's fine. The goal too is to make sure that these two ends or these two folds here are even. So you can make the wings a little bigger if you want. You just wanna make sure that the top parts are even. All right, so then we can unfold it a little bit. And we have the point, the long body of it, and then our little wings here. So, that's our paper airplane. The next thing we just have to do is fly it. All right, so here's our paper airplane that we made. And if you want, you can aim it at a laundry basket. You can make a make something to, to target to and work on your eye hand coordination a little bit, or you can throw it at a wall. I don't know, whatever you wanna do. Just make sure you're being safe with it because sometimes these points can be pretty pretty pointy and they might hurt if you do hit somebody. So you wanna make sure you're aiming away from people and animals and you know, laundry basket, whatever you want. So you just pinch, you're gonna bring, find the tip. You're gonna bring your pinchers out, close your hand, bring out your pinchers. You're gonna pinch near the tip if you want or really anywhere along. You can try different parts, see if there's one part that you like better that makes it fly a little bit better, but you just pinch and then Fly it. That's it. Hope it was fun. See you guys next time.